Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina. Here is another video related to uh, Jakarta filter, okay, or satellite filter. Uh, it's talking about the URL pattern, and uh, the sev uh, the following slides regarding of the URL pattern are uh, also be applied on servlet. Servlet also has a URL pattern, right? The difference between them is uh, the URL pattern matching uh, procedure is different. And uh, we, I will mention a little bit later, okay? So uh, if we use XML to do the configuration and uh, in the web.xml, we will have a URL pattern element inside uh, either solid mapping or field mapping. Okay, and uh, if we use annotation like a web servlet or use a web filter, which we will talk about, the, we will talk about it, its annotation uh, later. Okay, it all have the URL pattern, right? This one have URL pattern, uh, and uh, this one also has. We can also use a value to do the alias URL patterns probably, pattern or patterns. This one I'm not uh, very certain. <laughs> okay, either one of them. Okay, so the URL el pattern element of a servlet mapping or field mapping associates a filter or servlet with a set of URLs. So when a request uh, arrives, which content, which servlet or which filter, the request will go through. Then the container will use a procedure for mapping the URL in the request with the URL pattern in the web.xml or annotation. And when we talk about URL, it, uh, it's a, upset, a subset of ASCII characters and for any uh, other values, it will be escaped. And also the URL um, matching is uh, considered using uh, bytes instead of character. Suppose, uh, uh, give an example, if we have a local host 8080, A something, okay? And uh, when they do the matching, it actually, yeah, same as it will do match by use bytes instead of characters. This is the bytes and the four characters. 61. This is ASCII representation of uh, lowercase a. Okay. Uh, you don't need to know the details. Uh, the container will do uh, the matching for us. Okay. And uh, for URL pattern syntax, okay, so what's a URL you can put between this URL pattern? It has uh, uh, either this way or annotation, okay? Mostly, Yes, every character in a pattern must match the corresponding character in the URL path exactly. Suppose here I use hello and uh, match to this servlet or filter your your URL localhost eighty eighty some web, and here we have context root and then hello. Okay, so this URL match this URL. Okay, but there. Are, Sorry, there are two exceptions. The first exception is if you have this slash asterisk at the end of the URL, which means like this way. So, hello. This is the part. It will match any sequence of characters from the point forward, including the path. Okay, so if you have the URL setting like this way, and when you have a hello slash ABC, hello slash ABC DEF, it will all match to this URL pattern. Okay, that because it including the path. When we say path, it will have this uh, forwarding slash is a path. And when you, you have one asterisk, it will also map the path, okay? Second one is uh, the extension, which is like this way. Which is, uh, suppose the URL pattern, I have a hello, 
Ah, uh, sorry. I have asterisk dot gsp. Then it will map to any context root and abc dot gsp like this way. Okay, match any file name ending with the extension like gsp html. And uh, no other wildcards are supported. Only the asterisk is the wildcard. Okay, and uh, the wildcard at uh, wildcard at any other place in the pattern is not a wildcard. So here, sorry, wait for a second. I want to change the color. So it's, uh, let's erase everything. Erase pen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pen. So let me use another color. Uh, blue. Okay. So here, in this case, this is a wild card. This is also a wild card. But if we in the URL pattern, you do some pattern like this way. You have a URL setting like this way. Okay. Like a hello. And here have a asterisk hello okay this one this even though it's asterisk but this one is not a wild card it just represent asterisk okay that's what i say okay uh, an asterisk at any other position in the pattern is not a wild card only these two exceptions we list here they are wild card okay Next one, let's take a look at uh, some examples. I have a URL pattern status, and here is asterisk. So uh, th this is our wild card, right? So it will have, uh, this is our context root. And when we have status, match the here and uh, sim pieces, okay, matches. And uh, also, it doesn't care if you have a query string or not. Okay, because uh, to do the URL pattern matching, it will my this is our URL. Wait for a second. This is our URL, and which part should we grab from the URL to match our pattern? It will minus sorry, it will minus our context root. This one is from here is our context root with the host name and other things and also minus anything which is a query string or like if you have a hash like download or something right and it will also uh, remove that only the remaining part the remaining part is this part we are trying to match to our URL pattern okay so the second example So second example, even we have query string, it's ignored. We don't do match with our UI pattern, only this part after the context root. So it's status and have asterisk wildcard match, okay? And when we only has one status, it is still match. But when we have a server, status standard match. Because when we remove the context root, our URL is a slash server slash status. But here we have status and something. So doesn't match. We don't have a server here. Here have a server. We don't have a server in our URL pattern. So it does not match. And another exception uh, of the example here is we have extension. Okay. So here we have wildcard, doesn't care about the path and doesn't care about any other character. So from example, this part is our context root. So it's not considered when we do mapping. And the US, Oregon, and the Portland, we just take a look at if at the, la at the last part we have a extension with dot map. It has so match, okay? And this one also has the map match. This one, same, I have a map match. But this one doesn't map because uh, our UR pattern is a lowercase, but here is the capital. So it's doesn't match. And here the MAPI, these uh, have one, two, three, four, four digit, four letter, and here only have three, so doesn't match, okay? That's uh, how the UR pattern syntax works, okay? And uh, the difference between the <coughs> 
And let me show you another one. The difference between the filter and the servlet is uh, when we do the matching processing. Suppose uh, we have a status and uh, uh, we have another one, okay? Here. Suppose in web.xml you have a two, this UI pattern and associated with um, uh, sorry servlet and a filter, and uh, when we have a request called the status, uh, hello comes okay. If for servlet, servlet it will uh, do mapping on four steps. The first one is a find exactly match, which means do I have a UI pattern in the status hello? And if I find, it will return, it will use, and it won't use others anymore. Even though this one has uh, matched this uh, uh, URL, and this one also matches the URL, but for servlet, it doesn't, if it already find and use that one. If you cannot find exactly match, it will find the one which is the longest match. And in our example, it will find this one, right? If it find, it will just use it, and this one will not be triggered. If you cannot find, you are trying to find anything which is more general. And uh, in this case, uh, we, we already, already have this one. Status, it will always find this one, and this one won't go. And for uh, if you eventually cannot find anything, it will try to map if you have a uh, uh, a default servlet, and if it has, it will use. Otherwise, just return 404. That's that is a servlet. But for filter, suppose I will still have a status. Hello, it's gonna be different because this URL pattern will match this URL, and this URL pattern will also match to this one. For servlet, it will go one of them, but a filter, it will go through both of them. And the order uh, of them, it will be the first one declared in the server, uh, in the web.xml, it's uh, the first one gonna be invoked, okay? And it will invoke this one first, this one as second, if it's in filter. I will show you example later. And, uh, 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 this is uh, so far about URL pattern syntax and uh, next one we will discuss if we have uh, multiple uh, URL patterns which match one URL, which one, what's the order uh, to, in, what's the order of the filter will be invoked and we will also talk about another one which is a server name, okay. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.